A family is blaming their insurance company for the death of their teenage daughter, saying the company denied life-saving treatment until it was too late. Reporter Leslie Miller from our station KABC in Los Angeles has more. Cigna cannot decide who's going to live, who's going to die. An impassioned rally outside the Cigna headquarters in Glendale, as dozens of protesters demand the health insurance company approve a liver transplant for 17-year-old Nataline Sarkeesian. The Armenian Youth Federation, the California Nurses Association, and friends and family of Nataline's all fighting for her life. Focus on here. The war is here, you guys. We have a war here. The family claims Cigna first agreed to the surgery, but after Nataline received a bone marrow transplant from her brother, a lung infection followed. The family says Cigna delayed, then denied approval, calling the surgery too experimental. They're the one who caused this. They're the one that told us to go there and they will pay for the transplant. They have insurance and there's no reason that the doctor's judgment should be overrided by a bean counter sitting in an insurance office. Nataline was sedated into a coma to stabilize her as the family filed appeals. Doctors at UCLA signed a letter urging Cigna to review its decision. Every minute that they delay, every second, every last second counts. Then, in the middle of the protest, Mother okay. Hilda Sarkeesian gets the message. Cigna just approved us. <laughs> Cigna released a statement saying it's decided to make an exception in this rare and unusual case and will provide coverage should she proceed with the requested liver transplant. But the crowd's cheers were quickly quelled when the family got another call, this time from the hospital. She's not doing good. we going to the hospital right now. After a tremendous battle, Cigna's decision to pay for Natalie's surgery came too late. My daughter, it's, she's in the God's hands right now. That's it.